Lorene, it was tough preparing for everything after meeting us, wasn't it? Thank you for making the time and space for us to meet up. I feel sorry for making you do this and that. You must have had a busy day. Since both me and my husband are getting old, we are getting quite picky. We didn't want to go to any random restaurant or cafe. Your cafe was one of the best places I visited recently, and I wanted to come here again. We thought that your cafe was the best place to sit down and have a chat together quietly. Thank you for making the arrangements and booking a space for us. Don't worry about it. I was planning to invite you to my cafe again anyway. I'm happy that you came here. Please have a seat. Make yourselves comfortable. I will prepare some loose leaf tea for us right now. I only heard about your cafe through Jacob and his mother. I heard so many compliments about this cafe. I'm lucky to finally be here. Your cafe is so nice. It has a calm atmosphere which makes it the perfect place to relax. I was first reluctant to come today because I thought I should give you ladies some space to talk together. But I'm glad that I decided to come. Indeed. I told you it was a good idea to tag along. After I tasted Lorene's tea, I only get it from here now. The chamomile tea is my personal favorite from the menu. I tried it last time when I came here and it was so fragrant and relaxing to drink. There's a reason why I chose this place to meet up together. I agree. All the tea from this cafe tastes amazing. It is different from the other teas I have tried in the past. I was never a tea person, especially loose leaf tea. But now I've totally converted. Mr. Smith, once you try the tea here, you will love it too. The tea leaves have brewed perfectly now. Do you want to try it? Yes, should we? Wow, it has a very nice floral taste to it. I love it. I'm glad that you like the tea. I was worried that you might not like it. I chose the best quality leaves to serve you for today. It is our cafe's best-selling tea leaves. It has the strongest floral scent to it because of how good the quality of the leaves are. Because we didn't crush the tea leaves, you can taste the natural, unprocessed flavors of the leaves. Oh, yes. This was the taste I was longing for. This floral tea is my absolute favorite. There was a reason why my wife was talking about your cafe every day. Can I buy a pack of these tea leaves before we leave later? I think it will be perfect to serve our guests from our company. Of course. I will have a packet prepared for you before you leave. Mr. Smith, I will buy it for you as a present. I'm happy to see that you really enjoy the tea. Loreen, could you recommend to me something that pairs well to eat with the tea? Tiffany, I'll see what we have in stock and then I'll recommend something to you. It's good to see that Loreen and Tiffany are getting along together. We feel like one big family now. Mrs. Brown, you are so lucky. I'm envious of you because you have a lovely daughter like Lorene. You have such a sweet daughter and a handsome son, and even a good daughter-in-law. Oh, I do feel very blessed indeed. On top of that, now I have an amazing son-in-law too. Oh, I wasn't complimenting in order to receive one back. But thank you for thinking fondly of my son. Although he is my one and only child, I didn't spoil him. So he will do a good job as a son-in-law to you. If he ever does trouble you, please let me know. I don't think he will ever trouble me. But even if he does, he will be owning a clothing company soon. I won't be able to say anything. <laughs> but all jokes aside, because he is such a mature and responsible person, I trust that he won't be causing any trouble for me. Yes, my son is indeed hardworking and takes responsibility for his actions. I'm not worried about him at all. It is my daughter I'm worried about. Mom! Stop teasing me in front of my mother and father-in-law! <laughs> it's alright, Tiffany. I know that she is just joking. Oh yes, I almost forgot. I have something to give to you both. First, please take this, Loreen. I bought a present for you. I hope you like it. What is this? Can I open it here? Yes, go ahead. My friends told me that it is good etiquette to give a gift to the person who helped my son meet his girlfriend. So I thought I ought to give you a gift as well. Jacob said he would buy something for you himself, but I was worried that he wouldn't choose a decent present. 
I predicted that he would just buy a gift card for you, so I decided to get something for you myself. A gift card is nice, but I personally think it doesn't show any effort. I went to the shopping mall yesterday and saw a handbag that I thought would look perfect for you. I hope you like it too. Thank you for introducing my son to Tiffany. They were able to come this far thanks to you. All I did was introduce them to each other. I shouldn't be taking any credit. I don't know if I did anything to deserve receiving such an expensive gift from you. No, please take it. It's not just to show gratitude for helping my son meet his girlfriend, but you have been treating us very well. You always bring us to nice places when we meet. I have a lot of things to thank you for. I have known you through Taylor for many years, but I never once got you a gift. So I felt a little sorry about it. I wanted to give you something nicer, but I didn't want to make you uncomfortable by giving you an expensive gift. I hope you accept this gift. Please take it. Don't leave me hanging. Thank you so much. I really love the present. I appreciate your kindness. And this is for Tiffany. I also got you a little something. Although I went shopping for Lorene, I had to buy something for my daughter-in-law as well. Thank you so much. You didn't have to. I really appreciate it. Oh my, I'm so grateful. Thank you again. Mrs. Brown, we should go shopping with other friends next time. We can also visit the skin clinic together. Since our son and daughter are preparing for the wedding, I wanted to get some skin treatment too. Please let me pay for your skin treatment as well. It will be my treat for you. Can I tag along with your friends? I am afraid that I might not get along. Of course you can, and I'm sure my friends will love you. They will be very fond of you and make you feel welcome. Really? Then please contact me the next time you plan to meet up with your friends. I will join you. <coughs> Tiffany, you must really like that gift. You have been looking at it and smiling for hours. Of course, Mom. What kind of woman on earth would not be happy after receiving a luxury handbag as a gift? Why are you upset, Mom? Is it because Mrs. Smith didn't give you a handbag as a gift? I'm not upset because of that. It's rather because Mrs. Smith seems to like Lorene a lot more than you. She complimented Lorene in her cafe throughout the whole afternoon, but she didn't give you a single compliment. If someone saw it, they would think that Lorene is Mrs. Smith's daughter-in-law. Well, what can I do? It is a fact that Lorene is so much better than me in every aspect. She earns more than me, she has a better personality than me, and she's so much more well-mannered than me. Lorene's cafe is Mrs. Smith's favorite place to go, and on top of that, Lorene is good friends with Jacob. If I was Mrs. Smith, I would admire Lorene more than myself, to be fair. Also, the biggest reason why I was able to marry a perfect man like Jacob was because Lorene introduced me to him. If she hadn't introduced me to him, Jacob and I would have never even crossed paths. We live in such different worlds. Don't give all the credit to Lorene. It's actually thanks to your brother. Because your brother married Lorene, you were able to meet Jacob. Do you really want to give the credit to Taylor when clearly Lorene deserves it? You need to be more honest with yourself and face the reality. Even Taylor was so lucky to meet Lorene in high school. If they hadn't dated in high school, Taylor wouldn't have had the chance to meet such a smart and wealthy woman like Lorene in real life. When Taylor was dating Lorene in high school, he had no clue what kind of household she was from. But after Taylor found out, his life turned upside down. It's the equivalent of winning the lottery in my opinion. Taylor was so lucky. Not only is Lorene rich, but Lorene even waited for him to finish his military service when he volunteered to go. She even trusted Taylor and stayed with him when he was taking his civil service certificate exam. She was such a good girlfriend for Taylor. That's not easy to do as a girlfriend. I don't think I would be able to do that for Jacob, to be honest. I don't think I could even be in a relationship for 12 years like they did. Hey, don't put your brother down like that. You only compliment Lorene, but Taylor is worthy too. Taylor was a very loyal boyfriend and he also has a lot of achievements in life. That's why Lorene stayed with him and married him. She didn't just choose him for no reason. Anyway, after Taylor got married to Lorene, our family has been thriving. You can't deny that fact. We have the chance to meet people from a higher social status than us. 
Honestly, both you and my life have become so much better. Lorene even gives us excess money to use often. I just wanted to point out that our family has gone up the social status ladder thanks to Lorene. That is true, I have to admit. If it wasn't for Lorene, I wouldn't be living this luxurious life. All my friends that Lorene introduced me to are rich. I feel like my life has changed for the better after Lorene joined our family. Anyway, Mom, can you really pay for our house after we get married for a few years? I was really surprised back there when you said you would pay for our house. Oh, I said it because I didn't want to sound less wealthy than the Smith family, so I said it impulsively. But now I regret saying that. I didn't want them to look down on me. If our family doesn't contribute anything to your marriage, the Smith family might not like it. They might think that we can't afford anything and contribute to your marriage. Did you see their faces when I said that? Their facial expressions changed when I said I would cover the house cost for your marriage. I bet they expected nothing from me, but I turned the tables. Mr. and Mrs. Smith and even Jacob were so surprised. Since I promised, I will keep my word. I can't afford it now, but I have an idea, so give me some time. Since you said it, you better keep your word. If you don't, I'll be so embarrassed in front of Jacob and his family. What is your idea, though? I'm curious. I will keep my word, don't worry. I can't tell you what my idea is right now, but you will find out. Even if that idea fails, I will go as far as taking out a loan to keep my promise to you. Thank you for the tea set you gave to me. When I gave it as a gift to my rich friends, they absolutely loved it. I guess everyone loves receiving gifts, regardless of whether they are rich or not. I'm glad to hear that they liked it too. I can tell that you received the skin treatment as well. Your skin looks young and healthy. Can you already tell the difference? I do feel that my skin has become glowier after the skin treatment, but I didn't expect other people to notice it too. I should start going regularly. Do you also have a membership at that skin clinic? Yes. I don't go very often, so I use my mother's membership when I go to the skin clinic. Family members can share the same membership pass. Oh, I see. Can I follow you when you go to that skin clinic next time? You can pay for my skin treatments too. Excuse me? Oh, sorry. I asked you for something unnecessary. Please forget what I said. Um, okay. Here, try this dish too. You should eat a lot more. You didn't eat a lot when you were pregnant either. If there's anything else you want to eat, you can order more. Thank you, but I think this is enough for me. I am eating well, so you don't need to worry about me. Okay. Lorene, I'm really thankful for having you. I just wanted you to know. Sometimes I feel like you are my real child. I adore you more than Taylor or Tiffany sometimes. I'm not just saying this to compliment you. When I hear my friends talking about their daughters-in-law, I feel so grateful that I have such a sweet daughter-in-law like you. I feel so blessed to have met you. Thank you so much for your kind words. It really means a lot to me. Why is she acting like this all of a sudden? A new family member joining can have a huge effect on the family. At first, I was a little unsure about you. I heard that daughters-in-law can be challenging to deal with. One of my friends has a lot of conflict with her own daughter-in-law. I'm glad that you came and impacted us positively. The reason why I am able to live more happily and worry-free is because of you. Once Tiffany gets married and Jacob joins our family too, I won't have any more wishes in this world. I can pass away without any regrets. You're still so young. You shouldn't be saying that even as a joke. You still have a lot of years to live. You have more things in life waiting for you to accomplish them. I'm not joking. I am being quite serious. I will be able to close my eyes peacefully. Now that my children are completely independent of me, I feel like I have accomplished everything I need to do on this earth. I just want my children, including you, to live a happy life. Mrs. Brown, are you crying? Oh, sorry. I have been very emotional lately. Just thinking about Tiffany getting married makes me emotional easily. She's my youngest child, as you already know, 
So it feels a bit different from when Taylor got married. <laughs> if I could provide a nice house for my dear Tiffany, I couldn't wish for anything more. But because I don't have enough money to buy a house for her, I don't know what to do. Um, I understand how you feel, but it is not your job to buy a house for them. You should not feel pressured to buy a new house for them. That is something they need to do for themselves. But I already made a promise to buy them a house in front of Jacob's family. I don't have a lot of money, but compared to me, Jacob's family is really wealthy. They probably expect me to provide a nice house for Tiffany and Jacob, so I wanted to meet their expectations. I don't want Jacob's family to think that our family is not wealthy like them. I don't want them to look down on our family. So I want to buy a nice house for Jacob and Tiffany. Oh, I just wish someone would come up to me and buy a nice new house for my dear Tiffany. I wonder who could be rich enough to buy a new house for them. I couldn't ask for anything more if that happened. It would be my dream come true. Oh, Lorene, were you listening? Oh, did you hear me? I didn't mean to say it out loud. It wasn't for you to hear. I was just talking to myself. You can just ignore me. What is she doing? She wasn't talking to herself. She was obviously saying that for me to hear. Is she expecting me to buy a house for them or something? That's probably the reason she came to visit me. She never visits me unless there's something she wants from me. She is so shameless. Taylor, does this red top look better on me or does the white one suit me more? Hmm, both of them look good on you, but the red one looks more sexy. I don't see you wearing this color often. A new look will be refreshing. What is going on with you? You usually don't even let me wear mini skirts. You wouldn't let me wear this red top. As long as you wear it just in front of me, that's fine. Don't wear it in front of other guys or at school. Okay, fine. Then I'll get this red top. You can use my card to purchase it. Think of it as an early birthday present. Really? You even bought me earrings as an early birthday present. Do you want to buy me another present? I want to buy you all the gifts in this world. I love seeing you happy. I don't spend this much money on my own wife, but for you, I want to do everything I can to make you happy. If you say so, I can't reject you then. Thank you so much. I'll wear this top often. I'll go pay for this. You can wait outside the store. Okay, I'll meet you outside the store then. Taylor, is that you? Huh? Jacob, what are you doing here? Our clothing brand is preparing to launch a pop-up store in this shopping mall, so I came for a visit. But I wanted to ask the same thing. What are you doing here, Taylor? Shouldn't you be at work right now? Did you come here with Loreen? No, you must have come with her family. That woman isn't Loreen. I have never seen her face before. Who is she? Huh? Um, well, she is my co-worker. Honey, I just bought the top with my own card. Let's use your car later when we go to the hotel. We can get a bottle of wine and drink it later after. Huh? <laughs> Miss Lawrence, I think alcohol would be inappropriate at the teacher training program. Don't you think so too? Do you know where the other teachers are, Miss Lawrence? I think we need to go back and join them now. We don't have a lot of time left until our training starts again. Huh? Oh, I think the other teachers left the shopping mall already. You are right. We should be going back to the hotel for our training now. Is he a person that you know? Who is he? Yes, he will be my brother-in-law soon. My sister is going to get married to him soon. I bumped into him by coincidence just now. Ah, oh, I see. Nice to meet you. I'm Ms. Lawrence. I work at the same school as Mr. Taylor. Nice to meet you too. Taylor, did you come out for a teacher training program? Yeah, our school often provides teachers with training programs. Do you know that the shopping mall owns a hotel on the other side of the road? We are having the training program at that hotel. 
We had some spare time, so the teachers decided to come out and look around the shopping mall. I see. It's unusual that your school trains your teachers outside of the school building. Your school is really nice, funding and training their teachers at a five-star hotel. Yes, it really is amazing. Anyway, we need to go back now. Our training session is about to start very soon. We don't want to be late for it. I hope your pop-up store launch goes well. I'll see you again. Miss Lawrence, let's go back now. Sounds good. Hello, welcome to our tea, huh? Jacob! Or should I be calling him my brother-in-law now? That title still feels very awkward. But since he isn't married to Tiffany yet, I will stick to calling him Jacob. What brings you here? Did you come with Tiffany? Lorene, I came here alone today because there is something I need to tell you. Sorry for coming in without any notice in advance. What's wrong? You don't look well. Is it something serious? Well, I have something to tell you, but I don't know how to start. What is it? Did something bad happen? Did you have a fight with Tiffany? You can tell me honestly. I will listen to what you have to say without judging you. No, I didn't have any fights with Tiffany. I just don't know how to get myself to tell you this. I think it is the right thing to let you know. But I can't get myself to say it to you. What is it? You can tell me. How has your relationship been with Taylor recently? My relationship with Taylor? Well, as you might already know, we dated for a long time before marrying. And now it's been almost 10 years since we married, so although we aren't the most romantic couple, we are staying strong. We know everything about each other and we feel very comfortable in each other's presence. We don't argue or fight about anything, so I guess you could say we are still in a very healthy relationship. But why do you ask? I'm worried I might have misunderstood the situation, but I saw something. I'll just tell you what I saw yesterday at the shopping mall. What is it? I'm starting to get scared now. Did you see my husband at the shopping mall? He told me he was going to a teacher training program yesterday. Yes, he told me the same thing. But I don't think he came to the shopping mall for a teacher training program. What? What do you mean? Are you saying that he was lying to me? I went to the shopping mall for work. Do you remember the pop-up store that I told you about? Since my brand will be opening a pop-up store at that shopping mall, I wanted to see how things were going. Anyway, as I was leaving the shopping mall, I saw Taylor. But he wasn't there alone. I went up to him to say hello, and that's when I found out that he was with another woman. The woman was about to use his credit card to buy something, but she gave it back to him. I have a feeling that they were very close. I might have heard this wrong, but I heard the woman call Taylor Honey at first. Because the shopping mall was crowded, I can't say for sure that that was what she said. Both Taylor and the woman were surprised when they saw me there. I had a feeling they were acting to look like work colleagues. A woman? I already have a bad feeling before even hearing the full story. Did Taylor cheat on me? Yes, I think so. He called her Ms. Lawrence. I think they work together at the same school. Taylor also told me that he just came to look around the shopping mall during the teacher training program. I thought it was absolutely strange for the school to be having its training program outside of school. Apparently, the hotel where the teachers are staying at is owned by the shopping mall that we were at. I had a bad feeling about them, so I went to the hotel where they were staying at and asked if there were any teacher training programs going on. They told me that there were no teacher training programs going on in the next few days, and none of their meeting rooms were booked for such a reason. So he lied to us about the teacher training program? He lied so he could have a day off with his affair partner. I can't believe this. This is too much for me to handle. Yes, I think so. If there was an actual training program, he wouldn't have lied about where the training was taking place at. The hotel seemed to have no clue about any training programs. Only one meeting room was booked for tomorrow, but it was for a wedding after party. I can't believe this. He definitely cheated on me. Because you said they looked close, I don't think this was Taylor's first time meeting that woman. Going to a hotel together already says a lot about them. I was pondering all day yesterday. I didn't know if I should be telling you this or not. 
I didn't want you to get hurt, but most of all, I thought I should wait until I was certain that Taylor was having an affair. I didn't want to seem like I was being nosy either. But I came to the conclusion that it is the right move to tell you about what I saw. Yes, I agree. Thank you so much for telling me. If you hadn't told me, I would have had no clue that he was cheating on me. I would continue on with my life like a complete fool. You must have worried a lot about me and Taylor yesterday. I'm sorry that you had to witness that. Taylor is going to be your brother-in-law soon, and I am sorry that you had to see such a dirty side of him. I'm so embarrassed that my husband did that. I feel embarrassed to even see you right now. Hey, it's not your fault. You shouldn't be the one that is embarrassed. Taylor should be the one feeling ashamed right now. Hey, Lorene, are you all right? Are you crying? I don't know why I'm crying. I can't control my tears. I am so angry right now. I'm not crying out of sadness, but instead I'm crying out of anger. I feel so betrayed by Taylor. My heart feels really heavy. It was my first love and I spent almost half of my life together with him. Since we spent almost 15 years together, I thought we would stay strong together for the rest of our lives. I really trusted him. How could he have an affair? I'm so sorry for you. I don't know what I can say to make you feel better. I don't know about other men, but I didn't expect Taylor to have an affair. Taylor treated you well, but you also did so much for him. You were such a loyal and loving girlfriend and wife. He shouldn't have betrayed your love like this. I want to see them with my own eyes. I want to check if he really had an affair myself. How could he cheat on me behind my back? Once I see him and that woman together with my own two eyes, I will be certain to make the next decision. I won't be able to forgive him. For now, could you not tell anyone else about this? I just want only you and me to know about Taylor's affair. I want to collect evidence of their affair without him knowing. If Taylor asks about yesterday to you, just pretend like you fell for their act. Don't suspect him of having an affair. Okay, I'll do that. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I feel like my heart is completely broken. I'm going to make Taylor feel the same pain I'm going through. I'm going to get my revenge on him. What is all of this? Why is our photo printed and pasted all around the school classroom doors? Honey, uh, oh, I mean, Taylor, do you know what is going on? Please explain all of this. I don't understand what is going on either. I don't understand this situation. Who took these photos of us in our car going into a hotel? Although we are inside the car, you can clearly make out our faces in the photo. Did someone spy on us? Who did this? Who found out about our relationship? It doesn't matter who did this right now. We need to quickly take down all the photos before more students and teachers see them. The school is in utter chaos because of us. Everyone saw these photos and they are talking about us and spreading rumors. The principal asked us to have a meeting with him. What should we do? Even the students were questioning me all day long. None of them were focusing on my lesson. All that they were interested in were these photos. If the parents find out what we did, it is completely over for us. Who would want their children to be taught by teachers who are having an affair? Stop complaining about it to me. I'm in the same boat as you. My brain hurts just thinking about this. You are not helping at all by stressing me out even more. Did you just shout at me? How can you shout at me? Do you even know how scared I'm feeling right now? I am relatively new to this school and I haven't even married yet. My situation is worse than yours. What about my future? It's completely doomed. The school has had you for a long time, so you might be safe. But because I'm a new teacher, the school might fire me today. My situation is worse because I am married. At least you are not married. You can pretend to be innocent and act like you didn't know that I was already married. Actually, it is a stupid thing to do, arguing about who is more miserable right now. It doesn't matter whether you are a new teacher or whether you are unmarried. We are both completely doomed. What kind of crazy person did this to us? This is kind of disappointing. You two are already splitting up and fighting. I was expecting you two to somehow overcome the situation together. 
Shouldn't you two be a team and be supportive of each other? Come on, I thought you two were madly in love with each other. I was hoping you two would put up a more melodramatic scene for me to enjoy. Who said that? Huh? Honey? Honey? Does that mean she is your wife? Honey? Lorene, did you do this to us? Did you print out this photo of us and spread it all around the school this morning? I never said it was me who did this. Why are you already getting angry at me? I should be the one angry right now. What? Then how did you find out about us and come all the way to our school? Did the rumors already spread to you? It couldn't have spread that quickly. How did you find out? How could you do this to us? Are you out of your mind? How dare you shout at me when you had an affair behind my back? You have no right to be angry at me. You did me so dirty. You shouldn't be the one angry right now. And can I not come to this school? I have lived with you for almost 15 years. Is it weird for me to visit your school? Especially when I found out that you had an affair. Did you expect me to nonchalantly wait at home for you to return? Okay, I understand your disappointment, but please keep your voice down, Maureen. Everyone is already talking about us. We are at the center of attention. We don't want to bring more attention to ourselves. I need to go to teach a class soon. Can we talk about this at home? You guys aren't even righteous people. How can you two be teaching other people? You need to be taught first. Don't you even feel ashamed to stand in front of those middle school students? I bet those middle school students know better than you two. At least they can tell the difference between right and wrong unlike you two. You call yourself a teacher, but your brain is full of disgusting thoughts. You don't even have basic human morals and ethics. How can you teach other people? What did you just say to us? Don't be quick to judge us. You might know your husband well, but you don't even know me as a person. Did you even think about the responsibility you would have to take before doing this? We are going to ask you to make up for this, so you better be prepared. We are going to sue you for damaging our reputation. How can you humiliate us in front of the whole school? How will I see the students ever again? Go ahead. Sue me if you want to. I don't mind paying a small compensation fee as long as the whole world finds out about your affair. I can see that you're trying to scare me, but I'm not scared at all. Go ahead. Sue me if you have the guts to. But you two better be prepared as well. You two will have to take responsibility for your actions too. I will tell the Office of Education about this affair and I'm going to start a petition to get both of you fired. I'm going to sue you two for having an affair and I'm going to get a divorce from you, Taylor. Maureen, why are you acting like this? You are a bigger person than this. You need to control your anger. You wouldn't actually do that, would you? I don't know how you found out and came all the way here, but please don't make a ruckus in the school building. Please, let's just talk about this at home. I thought you had no shame because you had an affair behind my back. But now you feel ashamed to be seen and heard by other people? What is wrong with you? You don't feel embarrassed that I found out about your affair, but you feel embarrassed that your students found out? It makes me more angry. Since you are so scared of receiving the attention from others, it makes me want to bring more attention to you. Hey, everyone, listen to my story. This man is my first love who I dated since high school. I even waited for him to finish his deployment in the army. I stuck through thick and thin with him. I even married him and gave birth to a beautiful child. But guess what? He cheated on me with a teacher at this school. This lady right here. They have been seeing each other for 10 months. He always lied about having to go on a teacher training program ship or having to prepare for a school event just so he could cheat on me. He always went out on the weekend using excuses, but it was also he could cheat on me. What a show he put on. These two should not have the rights to teach at this school. Am I right? Stop. Stop it right now. Quiet down, Lorene. Everyone can hear you. Hey, ouch, that hurts. How can you bite my finger? How dare you put your dirty hands on me? What is wrong with you? Are you drunk? You are not this type of person. 
Why are you acting so differently? We can handle this quietly between ourselves. Why are you making a big deal out of this and bringing attention to us? This isn't good for your reputation either. When I get angry, I completely lose my mind. Didn't you know? Until I get my revenge and until I'm satisfied with my revenge, I am not going to leave you alone. You should know my personality by now. Once I'm obsessed with something, I'm going to go over my limits to achieve what I want. The reason why I was able to quit my job and go to the UK to learn about tea is also because of this personality of mine. Ugh, she is such a pain. Why is she making such a big deal out of my affair? It is very common for husbands to cheat. She should have expected this coming. Lorene, is everything all right for you? You haven't opened your cafe for a few days, so I was wondering why. And I tried reaching out to you, but you didn't pick up my calls for the past few days. Did something happen to you? What's wrong? One of my friends contacted you to see if she could book a table at your cafe three days ago. She was worried when you didn't pick up. She told me your phone was turned off. I had some personal issues. I contacted her separately and apologized to her for the inconvenience. If you had the chance to call her back, why didn't you call me back too? I'm a bit disappointed in you. You called her back, but you didn't call me back. Do you think of me less than you think of her? Why did you want to see me anyway? You never visit me unless you have something you need from me. You only visit me to ask for a favor. Hey, look at me while you talk to me. Don't just stare at the floor. That's quite rude and I don't feel respected at all. Why do you have such an attitude today? Aren't you happy to see me? To be honest, I'm not that happy to see you. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with you? Did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed today? Anyway, after you take care of work, let's visit the real estate together. Real estate? Why would I visit the real estate with you? Did you forget? We have to look for a new house together for Tiffany. She is going to get married in a few months. It's a good idea to start searching early. Why are you asking me to come with you? I have to discuss matters that involve large amounts of money with you. Also, I have a favor to ask you. Are you going to ask me to buy Tiffany a new house? Oh my! Right on point. That's exactly what I was going to ask you. How did you read my mind? Could you see what I was thinking on my face? Yes, I can see it on your face. It is so obvious that you just want me for my money. You are full of greed. Everyone knows that by now. You also have no shame. You must have traded your shame for greed. No wonder Taylor is the same. Like mother, like son. What? What did you just say to me? Never mind. I was just talking to myself. Oh, did you hear me? I didn't mean to say that out loud. It wasn't for you to hear. This sounds familiar. I've said the same thing to her before. Why is she so rude to me today? She usually isn't like this. I feel like something is wrong with you today. Did you fight with Taylor? Where are you planning to buy the house? Have Tiffany and Jacob decided on the location? They haven't decided yet, but they are thinking of buying it in an urban neighborhood since they both prefer the city than the countryside. It would be nice to buy a house near Jacob's workplace. Possibly in the heart of Chicago would be nice. Don't you think so too? Oh, I know a nice neighborhood in Chicago. Oh, really? Where is it? Do you want to follow me and see the place for yourself? We can go right now if you have the time. You would be so surprised when you see it for yourself. Is it really that nice? Is it better than your house? I'm not sure. You can judge by yourself once you see it. Okay, sure. I'll wait here until you finish work, so take your time and let me know when you come out. When I asked her last time, she rejected me. So I thought she wasn't going to buy a house for Tiffany. But I wonder what made her change her mind. Whatever the reason is, at least she changed her mind. That's all that matters. I can't believe she is going to get Tiffany a house in the heart of Chicago. I have to admit, Taylor married a jackpot. How did he even manage to marry a rich woman like her? Lorene. 
Jean, is this the house you were talking about? Yes, you can go up to the 13th floor. This place looks like an apartment. Don't you think it will be too small for Tiffany and Jacob to live in? It would be better if the house is larger since it's going to be their first house. I was thinking of buying a house rather than an apartment. Do you have no shame? You are not contributing a single penny to their new home and you have so many requirements. Just go in and take a look first before you say anything about it. Are you sure this house is going to surprise me? You are not lying, right? It better be nice on the inside. Yes, I'm not lying. You are going to be shocked by what waits behind those doors. Step inside. Is the apartment vacant? Did you contact the owner in advance? It's my first time viewing a house this spontaneously. No, I didn't let them know in advance, but the owner is probably inside right now. I'll press the doorbell now. Oh, wait a moment. Do you know the owner personally? I feel a bit rude going inside without giving them a heads up. Did you tell them that we are going to view the apartment? Who is it? Hello, we came to visit for a viewing of this house. A viewing? Of this apartment? Yes, could you open the door, please? Who is it? I don't know. They're saying that they came for a viewing. Aw, huh? did you put your apartment out on the market for sale? No, why would I do that? There must have been a misunderstanding. I'll open the door to explain it to them. Yeah, that's strange. We should clear up the misunderstanding and tell them that this apartment is not for sale. Huh? Mom? What? That lady right there is your mother? Hello, it's good to see you two again. What is going on? Taylor? What are you doing here? And who is that woman next to you? Why aren't you at home? Why are you inside another woman's apartment? Mom, I can explain. Lorraine, are you out of your mind? How can you bring my mom here? You're going overboard with this. Did you really have to go this far to humiliate us? You didn't have to tell my mom about us. You sued us for an affair and even applied for a divorce. What more do you want from us? What did she just say? Divorce? Are you two getting a divorce? Yes. We applied for a divorce a week ago. I was going to tell you later, but I still didn't know how to bring it up to you. But mom, you need to know that Lorene is crazy. I'm the victim in this situation right now. She even came to our school and made a huge scene. She posted photos of my affair all over the school building. The whole school knows about our affair because of her. Do you know how much trouble I got into? The principal was so angry at me and shouted at me for hours. The rumors even spread to the students' parents. The parents called the school countless times to confirm whether it was true or not. Mom, I think there's something really wrong with Loreen. She has a few screws loose in her head. She has been trying to destroy my life. She is absolutely crazy. Give me some time to process all of this. So you are saying that you had an affair with this woman and now you and Loreen are getting a divorce? Are you out of your mind, Taylor? Oh, Mom. Oh, don't grab my hair like that. Oh, it hurts. Oh, let go of my hair right now. Oh, Ma, don't do that. Please stop it. Communicate by using your words instead of violence. You need a beating, Taylor. People like you need to get a beating to bring your senses back to your head. You took the teaching certificate exam all for what? To work at a school to have an affair with a fellow teacher? Did you go through all of that hard work just to get humiliated at school and get a divorce? I didn't pay for all your tuition fees just for you to go and ruin your life. You are a disgrace to our family. Mom, how many times are you hitting me? Calm yourself down now. How can you expect me to be calm? How can I calm down? You turn your back on a woman who is like a rare gem and decide to go after the woman who is like dirt. My blood is boiling just thinking about how dumb you can be. I had a feeling from the start. It was weird that Lorraine just decided to view and buy Tiffany a house when I asked. What are you going to do now, Taylor? If you get a divorce, what are you going to say to Lorraine's family? How are you going to explain and apologize to them? And what about Jacob? 
Jacob and his family will inevitably hear the news that you and Lorene divorced because of your affair. I'm going to be too embarrassed to even look at them. You humiliate me in front of Jacob's family. I won't even be able to see my friends for a few weeks. Do you understand the consequences of your actions? You just damaged my reputation too. Lady, did you just call me a woman who is like dirt? How dare you call me that? What makes you think that I am less worthy than Lorraine? It's easy to tell. I can just tell. Empty-headed people like you try to seduce married men so you can enjoy your life living off of their money. You must have bought luxury items using his money and went to five-star rating hotels with him, too. Do your parents know what you have been doing? Do they know that you had seduced a married man? Am I the only one who is at fault right now? Your son also liked me. That's why he had an affair. How can you barge into our house and suddenly shout insults at us? Lorraine, you are exactly the same. I have a lot to say to you, too. It's common for people to fall in love if they work together at the same workplace. Love is an instinct. You can't blame us for following our instincts. You should have kept a closer eye on your husband if you didn't want this to happen. You lost him, and it's entirely your fault. How can you put the blame on me? Why are you so angry over this affair? You bring your mother-in-law to my house to humiliate us? Why do you have to go this far? That woman has no shame. Love is an instinct? Do you think you're some main character of a movie or something? If you both truly love each other, then fine, I wouldn't stand between you two. You both can live a happy life with each other forever. Just get lost and never come back into my life. That woman! Lorene, wait for me! Can you slow down a little? Lorene! Do you have anything else to say to me? Lorene, I understand how you are feeling right now. You have known Taylor for almost 15 years. This must have been a huge shock to you. It was shocking to me. It must be worse for you. I'm glad that you brought me here today to let me know what Taylor has been doing behind your back. I will make sure they never see each other again. I will drag Taylor out of that house and I will make him break up with that woman. So can you please be the bigger person and forgive Taylor this one time? Why should I? I don't think he will ever learn his lesson. Even if Taylor breaks up with that woman, can you be certain that he won't have an affair again with another woman? Why would I want to live with him? He is not worthy to be my husband anymore. I value myself more than that. What about your children? If you get a divorce, what will happen to your children? You have to think about them as well. Don't just think about yourself and your emotions. There are a lot of married couples where one gets an affair. But the reason why they don't get a divorce is because of their children. That is usually because they don't have any other options. Usually because they don't have the financial stability. One parent won't be able to take care of their children. But my case is different. I earn enough money to be able to take care of children on my own. On top of that, I am going to ask Taylor to send financial child support every month. You are just full of confidence because you haven't experienced it yet. I think you should be forgiving. He won't do it again. I'll make sure he doesn't. I'm sure Taylor is regretting having an affair a lot right now. He will make up for his mistake. He will treat you even better because he feels sorry for you. You know that he is a good person on the inside. It was just a one-time mistake. Just forgive him once, can't you? If he truly was a good person, he wouldn't have had an affair in the first place. I don't understand him at all and I won't be forgiving him. If he wanted to meet another woman, he should have broken up with me first. He should have asked for a divorce before falling in love with another woman. Ever since I found out that Taylor cheated on me, I have been recalling the past 15 years we spent together. I was wondering if he had cheated on me more than once, but I just didn't know about it. My thoughts without any answers just made me feel even more pathetic. I don't think I will ever be able to live with him again. He completely broke my trust in him. So don't tell me to forgive him. I won't be able to. I'm going to get a divorce with him. My decision is clear. Lorene, I don't want to lose a daughter-in-law like you. You did so much for our family. I feel too sorry to let you go. 
You're my one and only daughter-in-law. How can I let you go? I can't let you two part ways. Mrs. Brown, you should be more honest. The only reason why you don't want me to leave your family is because of my income, isn't it? What? You're right. I did so much for you and your family. I sent you money every month for you to use. I was like the trophy that you bragged about to your friends. But you never once truly cared about me. Hey, you better watch what you say. Have I ever treated you badly? I never asked you to clean or cook for me like how all other mothers-in-law do. I treated you well, and this is what I get in return. Stop pretending like you cared for me. You only treated me well because you wanted something in return from me. If I wasn't wealthy, would you have treated me the same? Also, other mothers-in-law don't ask their daughters-in-law to cook and clean for them either. Don't try to generalize it. Oh, I hate how she never says one wrong thing. I can't say anything back to her. What should I do with her? Let's break up, Tiffany. What? Jacob, what do you mean? Why do you want to break up with me all of a sudden? It's not all of a sudden. I was thinking about this for the past few weeks. I saw Taylor have an affair with another woman. He would be my future brother-in-law if I marry you. And I don't think I would want someone like him as my brother-in-law. I saw Taylor and Noreen go through their divorce and it put a lot of thoughts in my head. Once we marry, your family will be my family and mine will be yours. But I'm not sure if I'm ready to accept your family as mine. Even if I don't want to see your family, there will be times when I will have to. This isn't just about your brother. I don't even like your mother, to be honest. She has been visiting Lorene's cafe every day pleading her not to get a divorce. She has been making a scene in the cafe every day. She has been scaring away some of Lorene's customers, even. She even came to me and asked me to convince Lorene to not get a divorce. Since I'm a good friend of Lorene's, she thought I would be more convincing to Lorene than herself. I also found out that Mrs. Brown was planning to ask Lorene to buy us the house that she promised us. In front of my parents, she said she would be the one paying for the house. But Mrs. Brown passed on her responsibility to Lorene. Both the actions of your mother and your brother really made me rethink our marriage. You must be misunderstanding something. Did my mom really ask Lorene to buy our house? I never heard of this before. My mom would never do such a thing. Even if Lorene pays for our house, I wouldn't have the audacity to live in it. I don't have any bad feelings for you. That's why I feel really sorry for breaking up with you. But even my parents are worrying about me. They think our marriage is not a good idea for my future. I don't think I will be able to manage dealing with your family. I can't imagine what they might ask from me in the future. Please don't do this to me, Jacob. What my family did has nothing to do with me. Because I have known your family for a long time, I feel like I know them well enough. I think it is the right decision to cancel our marriage. Jacob, no! I only have you in this world! Ah, you must be Jacob, if I am correct. Yes, I am. And who are you? Don't you remember me? We met a few months ago at the shopping mall. Does that ring any bells for you? Sorry, I don't think I recall meeting you. Come on, how could you forget? We saw each other before at this store. Taylor was also there at that time. Taylor? Oh, you must be... You remember me now, don't you? I work at the same school as Taylor. Oh, Ashley. Worked. We don't work at the same school anymore. My name is Julie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Can I ask how you know my name? Taylor gave me a business card. I heard that you are the director of the XX fashion brand. No wonder you have an amazing sense of fashion style. So what? You look and talk so coldly. It won't hurt to smile. I don't understand why you stopped by to say hello to me. Is there something you want from me? Even if you do, we don't even know each other. In case you didn't know, I'm not going to be a part of Taylor's family. I cut ties with him. I don't have good memories of him either. Of course. 
I heard the news. I heard that you and Taylor's sister, Tiffany, were planning to get married, but the marriage was canceled last minute. Why do you know so much about me? It makes me quite uncomfortable. Honestly speaking, I am interested in you. I fell in love with you at first sight. If you are interested in me too, do you want to go out sometime? I really think you are charming. What did you just say? Why? Is it your first time seeing a woman so confident like me? Did I make your heart flutter? What are you talking about? Sorry, but I'm not going to pretend any longer. I know that you had an affair with Taylor. You have no shame to ask me out on a date. Do you really think I would want to go out with you? I can't believe how shameless you are. You are too full of yourself. Do you think every man will fall for you? Affair? It wasn't an affair. Who said that to you? We were just work colleagues. I think there's something that you don't know. The person who told Lorene that Taylor had an affair with you was me. When I saw you two at the shopping mall last time, I was the one who went to tell Lorene about it. I'm closer friends with Lorene than Taylor. I can see your intentions. After hearing the news that I broke up with Tiffany, you came to see me, didn't you? Are you already tired of Taylor now? Did you get bored and are you looking to switch boyfriends? You need to come to your senses and face reality. No matter how many times you change your boyfriend, the fact that you had an affair stays with you. Since you had an affair with a married man, you will have to pay for it. Don't forget you have to pay compensation because you got sued by Lorene. Also, the Board of Education will always keep an eye on you. It would be funny if Taylor found out that you were trying to hit on me. He thought you truly loved him, so he was actually considering getting married to you. I was going to feel a bit sorry for him, but I just remembered. He is the same type of person as you. I bet he won't be satisfied settling with one woman either. Oh no. I picked the wrong guy. He is friends with Lorraine. This is embarrassing. He already knows everything about me. Please tell me you are joking. You have got to be kidding me. How can you have the audacity to ask to move into my house? And you didn't show up here by yourself, but you brought your girlfriend along with you. First, you get a divorce from Lorene. Second, Tiffany's marriage with Jacob is canceled last minute. Now you want to live with me in my house. This household is a complete mess because of you, Taylor. Can't you find another place to live in? Do you not have the money to rent out a house? There's nothing I can do. I have to pay alimony to Lorene and child support money for my children. I don't have any money left to pay for my rent. The Board of Education suspended me from teaching as a punishment, so I can't even earn money at the moment. I do have some money saved up, but it isn't enough. Just let me move into your house. I will try to quickly find a new workplace, but I am afraid that I might not be able to find one in Chicago. I might end up in some random school in the countryside, and I don't want that. Aren't you worried for me, Mom? You're not the only one struggling. I'm going through a hard time, too. All of my rich friends cut ties with me. I know them through Lorene's family, so of course they would be more supportive of Lorene than me. My social life is falling apart because of you. The news of your affair is spread to everyone I know. Even my childhood friends know about it. How could you betray Lorene? She stayed loyal to you for the past 15 years. Everyone has been talking bad about not only you, but me as well. I am sick and tired of hearing people insult me. It's okay. I have plans for the future. I can live quietly for a while until the divorce is processed completely. Then I will marry Julie. I will ask her parents for their hand in our marriage. I also need you to approve of our marriage. Now that everything is over between me and Lorene, I want you to approve of me and Julie. Let's not attack each other. Remember, we are on the same boat. We should be supportive of each other and have each other's backs at times like this. The good news is that I didn't get suspended. The Board of Education just reduced my salary. My workplace has been separated from Taylor's, but that's okay. We will slowly rebuild our career together. So please don't hate me too much. I'm also trying my best to make up for the mess we caused. If you abandon me, 
I have nowhere else to go. Ugh. I don't even know what to do anymore. Mom, you approve of our relationship, right? I'll take it as a yes. No! I don't approve! Tiffany, why did you come here? I don't need your approval, so just get lost. It's none of your business. It is my business. I was living at Mom's house first, so why are you telling me to get lost? You should be the one to leave. You little brat. It's not up to you to approve of me and Julie's marriage. Are you just letting your anger out on us? You are miserable after Jacob canceled the marriage, aren't you? You just want to pick a fight with me because you can't stand your miserable self. Taylor! I'm not trying to pick a fight with you. I just want to point out that you are out of your mind. How can you get married to a woman you have known for a year? You abandoned your ex-wife whom you had dated for seven years and married for eight and you go to her? Ugh, you are saying the same exact thing that Lorene said. I heard that enough from Lorene. You don't need to repeat it. It seems like you haven't heard the news. You seem completely oblivious. Heard the news about what? Is there something else I need to know about? That woman that you want to marry. She was hitting on Jacob a few days ago. Hey, you. You met it with Jacob recently, didn't you? How did you find that out? Jacob hasn't contacted me for a long time after we canceled our marriage. But yesterday he called me and told me about what happened. He warned me to keep an eye out on her. She has bad habits and she won't be fixing it anytime soon. I hated how I felt like Jacob was viewing me as the same type of person as you, Taylor. What? Julie met up with Jacob? Why? How? She was probably waiting at the shopping mall until she had the chance to bump into him. Jacob has a meeting in the shopping mall every once or twice a week. I can't believe you, Julie. Taylor, it's a misunderstanding. I just wanted to chat with him. Ugh, you know what? Since I'm busted anyway, I'll tell you the honest truth. I have been seeing other men while I was dating you, Taylor. But I was never in a serious relationship with any of them. You were the only one who I dated for a long period of time. And I just went out on small dates with the other guys. There was nothing more than that. I only loved you, Taylor. I thought of you as my one and only boyfriend. How can you say that you love me when you were seeing other men behind my back? Regardless of whether you were in a serious relationship with other guys or not, this is just wrong. It's the same thing as cheating. I thought my brother was the most shameless person on this planet, but it turns out she was the most shameless person. Hey, you already broke up with Jacob anyway, so it's not your business whether I flirted with him or not. Why are you doing this to me? Are you trying to break us apart because your marriage got canceled? Are you letting your anger out on us? What? Do I have to remind you why my wedding got canceled? It's because of you two! You dumbheaded couple! Did you just call me dumbheaded? I'm much more older than you. Don't you have any respect? Are you actually even older than me? Show me your ID. Show me yours! Both of you, stop it. You two are being so childish. What is wrong with you guys? Just a moment ago, you said we should be supportive of each other. Look at us now. We are already fighting. Mom, do something about them. Don't just sit there and watch. I'm completely fed up with all of you. All of you. Just shut up and leave my house this instance. I don't need any of you. I don't want any of you to be my children. Many people said I was so lucky to be able to marry my first love who was also my first boyfriend. I also trusted my husband a lot because we built a strong relationship together throughout the many years we spent together. We have known each other for 15 years. I thought I settled down comfortably in my married life, but I guess it wasn't the same for my husband. He was tired of me and he cheated behind my back with a fellow colleague at the school that he worked at. When I found out about his affair, the many years of our memories turned into a nightmare for me. The years spent cultivating a bond with my husband, woven with countless shared experiences and cherished memories, now stand tainted by the pain of betrayal. It was my first time experiencing deep feelings of betrayal. 
My trust in him completely fell apart in one day. My friends told me that if I meet someone new, I would be able to forget about him easily. But speaking from my experience, it wasn't easy at all to forget him. I also had children who I had to be responsible for. Since I am busy taking care of my children, I don't think I will have the opportunity to meet someone new. At least not currently. My ex-husband didn't just break my trust. He took away a lot of my dreams for my future. After getting a divorce from my ex-husband, I am now preparing to move to Canada with my parents. The reason why I decided to move was because I was tired of hearing news about my ex-husband and his family. The people around me tell me what has been going on in Taylor and his family's lives. It is quite painful for me to hear. I want to move as soon as possible. It would be better for my children too. The choice to relocate isn't just about escaping the painful reminders of my ex-husband's infidelity. It's also about providing my children with the opportunity for a brighter future. I believe that by embracing the unknown and immersing themselves in a new environment, they can embark on a journey of growth and adaptation, free from the shadows of the past. Anyway, I hope all of my listeners have a peaceful day. I will end my story here. Thank you so much for listening to my long story. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and subscribe to see more content.